players go on TV every week and tell us that the team ain't shit. <laughs> and so why are we right. still after that AB shit? Nobody should be a fan of no hey, team. Man. AB. He a wild boy. Tenio Brown boiled over, very upset on the sideline, took off his shoulder pads. Is he though? He not. Is he? He not. He a nigga. <laughs> he do what a nigga would have done. He a strategic and I, and I, and I, he I, a, Man, they ain't had no niggas in his position in a long time. What? See, this is nah, the difference. Nah, nah, that's I'm telling true. you, bro, look how many motherfuckers. It's some niggas in there, but they, they didn't have to be niggas. Okay. It didn't never, and even when they did, it didn't really get out to the public like that. But sometimes they'll let that shit out. Right. Like, mm. look at these niggas being niggas. They got guns in the locker room. Look at these niggas. This nigga trying to kneel on the field. Like, sometimes they have to so, they have to single you out and show who's being a nigga. So the, la so the last, all sports the last nigga about. at the receiver position was either Tara Owens or Chad Johnson. What you mean? You said ain't no ain't no niggas at, at his position. But I'm saying it, no, I didn't mean like in his position on the oh, field. The field. I mean like his position as an athlete. Right. Okay. And he's saying, hey man, these folks over here bullshit. But let me ask you this though. How how you how how you get kicked off the field, right? That's you don't get he didn't get kicked off in the left. He said, no, he said his coach told him to get the fuck out. <laughs> Cause he didn't want to go in and he said his leg was hurt. He said his he didn't was... think he was gonna leave. But how you how you the have a coach didn't know who we were dealing with. How right. You, how, but how you have He's, a single? Because he used to motherfucker yeah. just going back and talking shit on the back. Right. He didn't know the nigga going to leave. how you have real? a single ready, though? You had a single ready the same he day. He was going to drop that bitch anyway. That was yeah. supposed to come out when he got the bonus money, yeah. but they fucked that up. Yeah. Oh, so that bitch was coming. Okay. So yeah, he expected that was to get the, okay. he expected like, to get the bonus money that day. That's how like, you know the nigga smart, because you always got to have something on deck that you can drop. You only never know when you going to go in your mode. So you just keep something on You got something ready. The only thing that that he probably shouldn't have did if he if his ankle was fucked up he probably shouldn't have been doing jumping oh, that house and shit. Yeah, yeah. did y'all listen to the he song ran though? around the, the, the field he, I was like, he was hot in did y'all listen to the song though nah because on the song he said he said fuck bruce arians he kicked me off the field so so that means he recorded it after the fact. That's, that's, he probably just added that verse in. That's how I'm oh, telling you. He's he a nigga. He left an open verse. He, he, nigga, he knew. Yeah. That nigga went to the studio. He punched in. He said, you know, I'm going to change that. Hold on. Yeah. That's yeah. rich nigga shit. You go to the studio, man. Lumps, you know who I fuck with the hardest, though? Oh. That nigga Michael Evans. That nigga, hey, man, bro, you chilling. You tripping, bro. Put your shit back on. That nigga Mike Evans walked off. All right, bro, you got it. Yeah, you got it, it All right, bro, you got it. Yeah, hey, you got to do that shit. But you know the crazy part is everybody probably knew what he had in bonuses. <laughs> like, what? put your shit back on. Man, hey. Man, hey! Fuck that money, nigga! <laughs> no! Oh, ain't no slave! No. That's what we doing, about, bro! Yeah. I ain't talking about no slave shit. Just get your money. Mm -mm. Fuck that. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Exactly. Yeah, fuck that. Nigga. He ain't tripping though. Cause this the thing you gotta fact in. He been he have to work with white people. So anytime I see a nigga going crazy at a job, I already know it's too it's so much shit I don't know. Mm. <laughs> but I mean, it's the NFL. We know we know so much about the NFL. They want you to play hurt, and how hurt you supposed to play. Anything yeah. could have set that nigga out. It could have just been the little team physician, old white man, just walked by. Fucking pathetic. That might have set that nigga off. <laughs> And coach might have just called him a boy or any goddamn thing. Get back out there, These boy. boys acting like they can't play hurt. Who the fuck you talking to? Right. Who a boy? Who right. a boy? I'm a grown ass man, nigga. That's what AB stand for, a boy. And you know AB from Florida, so I know he called him a puss ass crocker.